Hi, this is James Garner, the Cine Tech Geek, and today I'm on CineCert's stand to show, they've got a new product here that uh, is very interesting. It's a, a key management system, so uh, for example, making keys to uh, allow content to be played on your screen. So they've got a new product here. It's very interesting, it's, it's, uh, I quite like it. So I've got Michael here from CineCert, and he's gonna um, take us through it very quickly, give us an overview. So Mike, Michael, tell us about this product. Who's this product actually intended for? Hi James. This product is intended mostly for uh, small post-production facilities or medium-sized post-production facilities or uh, small to medium distribution networks. Uh, it includes a, an integrated uh, customer management interface so you can store customer information, uh, screen locations and, um, and booking information up to the device certificates for the cryptographic engines inside players or mastering systems uh, and uh, distribution KDMs, KDMs intended for making other KDMs so that you can make KDMs for those devices. So that's fantastic and also um, we'll, we'll just quickly take us through the interface because there's some number of features that I wanted to show especially that there's a duplication feature as well which is very interesting. So uh, if you can see along the screen here we've got the menu as duplication locations, bookings, contacts, signers and admin. So j just take us through the duplication side quickly first. Well w one of our new products is called Luhui and it's a disk validation, duplication, and verification and, and repair system. So with Lahui, you can browse through a, a, a digital cinema disk with, with a DCP on it, and you can verify the contents, you can test the contents to make sure that everything's there. You can repair some of the, some of the problems that might be present in the disk if there's a file system error or if uh, the packing list or asset map the, the components that catalog the contents of the, of the volume are not current or are malformed, you can repair those. And you can browse through the disk to look at the content. In this case, you have a bunch of, uh, of subtitle files and there's MXF files with, with picture and sound content and CPLs and the, the, the content of the CPL can be seen here in the CPL timeline. So you can see that the picture and sound files are encrypted. You can see the real boundaries so, so really, this this just tool, this page itself, it really is a fantastic diagnostic tool for any problems you may have with your content as a distributor or as a chain or a cinema who who is trying to get something to the screen and a problem occurs. This is a tool to help you overcome those problems. Sure. If you needed to in, in, investigate a little further into a disk that you had trouble loading, then you could certainly put it in here and and browse through it, see the content, and look to see if there are any problems that, that would prevent it from loading into your system. In addition, you can set one volume as a source and have uh, another volume in and, and, and enable copying from one to the other. And so you just configure one or more because you can connect other USB disks or, or FireWire disks or eSATA disks to it and, and replicate the contents of one volume to another volume. So can you do like USB keys as well, like if you're doing trailers, etc.? Mm -hmm. Yep, it will, it'll copy to any of, the, any of the configured devices. And if you need to update content, you can update just the new content. It won't have to copy all of the original content as well. Oh, okay, I see. Yep. So if there's already media files or MX file, files on there and you're adding to the, the CPL to a degree, it would just know that and just do what it needs to do? Correct. So if you were adding uh, supplemental content, only the new things that needed to be copied in would be copied in. So the, the updating process is much, much faster than other systems. Well, that's fantastic. So let's move on to, so we've got locations. Of course, this is where you manage uh, your locations of like where you're going to put a, like a cinema or, or, or an auditorium. So you might have a, a location where there's a number of cinemas, I imagine, and you can put screens here as we can see here. So the rest of the the rest of the the tabs at the top are related to Koloa, the the CMS and uh, and key management generator or some KDM generator. Um, the locations are how we organize screens, and screens are essentially containers for the 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 player identi identity or the mastering system identity or projector identity that you'll be using to make KDMs. Okay, so. For example, if you've got a number of screens and you've got your player, each player has a certificate and this is where you, you would get the certificates and you would load them into this software so you can generate keys against those certificates, that's great. 
Correct. And so if you have a number of, of devices in a location, you organize each device as a screen and each the, the set of screens in a given location. Cool, that's great. Here are a number of, of example locations that we've set up that have uh, one, or more, uh, one or more screens configured in them. Uh, this one has a number of screens in it, so it's a good start. So here are two screens, contact information uh, for that location, and then at the top you have the, the time zone for that location. So, and also if you define a contact as a uh, delivering contact, is it, is, is, that's right, so you go to scheduling, if you go next. Well, we, had, uh, we can add a new contact. Yes. We'll add me as a delivery contact. Now, from my understanding, now we've got you, uh, you're a delivery contact, so if a KDM is generated for any of these screens, it'll automatically go to your email address. Correct. Later on, when we come to the booking and generate KDMs that include this location, the KDMs for this location would be emailed to my email address. Fantastic. Okay, let's go to the bookings and have a quick look at that. So, a booking is an engagement for a piece of content for a period of time. And in this case, we have um, some example content here. We'll uh, we use the classic film 12 Angry Men. And we have a, a KDM targeted to our Kaloa system so that it can make new KDMs. Um, here we've seen a bunch of KDMs have already been made. And what we've done is we've added screens to this booking. And so we have screens from a number of cinemas that are configured, number of locations that are configured. And we define our time period for which the KDM should be valid and the time zone for which this time period it should be applied. And then in our, in our locations, we can specify the time zones that we want for that location's KDM to be generated for. Uh, so if, for example, so if your time zone's eight, uh, you've set your time zone and you want it to go from 12 to four in the afternoon, like a four hour zone, and then you go down here and you set their time zone to their time zone, it'll be from 12 to 4 in their time zone. Correct. Correct. So that allows you to do a, a, a day and date KDM generation. So it starts at, at noon everywhere. That's right. So, because that's a one of the more sif, you know, like, easy way to get human error there. So this tries to reduce that, that problem. Right. Similarly, the, you, it's a, a very straightforward process to make it so that the, the time here is then uh, the time at in the, that you've input to make the KDM is represented in the locality adjusted for the, the time difference. So if I say 8 p.m. in Los Angeles, it would be 11 p.m. in New York. Very good, very good. So those are the, the two modes by which you can enter KDM dates. So and after that, you basically... Uh, you click, after that, you click the Create KDM set. It creates KDMs, and, and our new KDM set has been created. If there are any messages related, one of the one of the screens we have didn't have a certificate, so we defined the screen, but we hadn't finished loading in the certificate, and so it warns you that 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 there was no KDM generated for that. But otherwise, it created the new KDMs, and uh, and for each of the locations for which there are delivery contacts present, those KDMs are already in their inboxes. Fantastic. So obviously, across the top, we've got contacts. To, to have a database of contacts which we can a, a, a assign to screens, etc. And that's pretty simple. And what's signers? So one of the features of Kaloa is that it validates certificates when they're added to the system. But one of the things you don't want to do is make a KDM for a certificate that isn't for a known player or a known mastering system. You want to know the identity of the certificate that you're importing to make sure that the content only goes where it's supposed to go. And so to do that, we, in, we require the certificate chain for that device be present in Kaloa before you can import the device and make KDMs. So I understand that. So um, this is a very important um, uh, issue about KDMs, which I find my, uh, the industry fails to understand in that, for example, uh, you would have a root certificates for only the DCIO plays that you want to make KDMs for, so that guarantees that you can't, by accident or by malice, generate a key that could potentially leak content out into the wild. Correct. And because of this, the, the role, the responsibility of adding signer certificates is an administrative function that is a different user than the, the general user that makes KDMs or creates 
locations or bookings. Well, thank you very much, Michael. It's a very interesting new product, and it shows you like uh, they're really thinking ahead and where this. Uh, um, the industry is going in the needs of or the more technical side so really good thank you very much for uh, helping me make this video today and I hope your product goes well thank you very much Michael thank you James this is James Gardner the Sydney Tech Geek bye for now